Hello everybody, this is John Evans and you're watching Mid Mod Money. Hey, thanks for tuning in to this internet program. Uh, welcome, if it's your first time here. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because the first Monday of the month we give away a free vintage prize to a subscriber. One lucky subscriber. So hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, we got a great thrift store haul to show you today. High profit thrift store haul, which is really the best kind of thrift store haul, the high profit variety. The first thing I found at Christian Crossing in Maryland, rural Oakland, Maryland, I found these guys. Look at these. You know, people say Vikings are marauderous uh, peoples. Do these guys look like they'd cause any trouble coming to your town? Probably not. They look Scandinavian in nature. Uh, these are basically like tourist trade stuff from the 60s. Some kind of Scandinavian, Danish, Finnish company made these as little knickknacks for tourists. They're amazing in that they have all their helmets and the guy still has his spear. And their beards haven't been ripped off. These were an insta buy. These were a quarter each. So I couldn't get these into my cart fast enough because I'm going to sell these for 15 bucks. No sweat, no fuss, no muss on these adorable, I would say these Vikings are adorable. Look at them. Look at them. Next thing I found was this cool relic from the 1970s. Look at this. It is a CB radio lingo glass. Big, huge tumbler. Look at that. It's got all the things that uh, you need to know. Smokey Bear is a state policeman. A ratchet jam means you're talking too much. You quit causing a ratchet jam. This is this is unbelievable. This is uh, this was three dollars and truly uh, unique. Like I've never seen one of these, and the size and the unusualness uh, will sell this. And uh, really, there's not very many to compare online to look at. So this is a pretty unique item. It's three. I'm gonna get about twenty bucks for it. Twenty, twenty-two, somewhere in there. All right. Next thing I found at a place called Junk and Stuff was this. It is hardly junk. You know what this is? The people in the know know that is a Sunbeam Mix Master in the very desirable Harvest Gold color. This works. This is an iconic appliance. The, the Sunbeams Mix Masters of the 50s with the turquoise, they go for big, big money. Now this is the 70s Harvest Gold, but because it still works, very collectible, very desirable. Uh, this will go for about 30 bucks, maybe 35 even. Uh, the last one I undersold, I sold it for under 30 and it sold real fast. So that tells me I might have sold it a little low. I paid five for this. So I'm looking at about 25 profit. Oh, the earthquake. Center yourself. Okay. Um, so that was low profit stuff, right? And sometimes I will overpay on things uh, because I get a good deal here. I, I up pay over here. So it all balances out in the wash. Now this next thing I found is a prime example. You can overpay on the Mix Master, maybe a little, slightly, and, because this was $2.50. I found this door knocker from the 70s for $2.50. Notice that the, the price is written on that masking tape. Find yourself a thrift store that, that hand prices stuff. It's like they just want to get, get it in, get it out. And that's, the, that's my kind of thrift store. This was $2.50. It appears to be very old based on like the cast iron and all this. Um, you know, and there's not another one to compare it to. Like if this was a modern thing, you'd see a lot of them on uh, online. And, and I just haven't found the comparison. So I'm thinking this is probably going to end up in the 40 to $50 range, which is incredible if you're paying $250 for a door knocker. That's almost $48 profit if I can get 50 bucks for that. All right, next thing I found were these two lamps. These are made by a company called C. Miller. Look at those. This was $5 each. Very ornate, very 1960s. No shade, you'll note. So what I'm gonna have to do is find two shades that look vintage that are identical that will fit these lamps. It won't be difficult. It might take a little bit of time, but once I find the shades, I'm looking at probably $80 on the pair of lamps. Because I had a pink one. My girlfriend 
the other half of Deal Team 6, she fixed a pink one that I sold for 60 These aren't pink, but they still have the weird accoutrements there, the little decoration. So the pair will probably sell for 80 bucks once I've got the proper shades. Okay, now, people who know me, and there are some of you out there, know I love yarn art. I, I love yarn art. I'm unapologetic about it. I think yarn art is fantastic. People have spent a lot of time on them, and some of them are fantastic. So when I saw this next thing, I was very excited and, uh, yeah, blown away almost. This is a beautiful 1960s or 70s yarn art tree cross section. What do you call that? Is it a grove? Maybe it's a grove. This was $2.99 at Goodwill. It was in a thing marked $5.99 for large art and when she rang it up she said $2.99. I didn't question it. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to tell her how to do her job. So I got this for three bucks. The tragedy is it's unsigned. You know, I'll never know who's Gam Gam or auntie made this yarn art. But the avocado green background, the color is what's gonna sell this. Believe it or not, these larger yarn arts sell for about 35 bucks. Some of them, if they're more spectacular, uh, can go even higher. But I feel comfortable 35 on that and I will get it because it's original, it's old, and very cool looking. All right, we're down to our last item. And uh, this, this will not disappoint because these are truly hard to find vintage items. And I found this at the Goodwill Outlet in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The Goodwill Bins, as they are known. I found this and this at the Goodwill Bins. Now what's amazing about that is if you know about the Goodwill Bins, people claw through stuff, things get damaged. Uh, things get broken, everyone's searching, everyone's in a hurry, they're, they're digging. So things get broken, things get chipped, things get messed up just by people shopping there. So to find these giant, these are life-size <laughs> ceramic cats in the Goodwill bins for 50 cents each. Yes, if you have a Goodwill outlet, it's worth driving to. The glass and the ceramic is 50 cents each. It used to be 15 cents, now it's 50. But after heavy research, and these are a, a highly sought after by people in these mid-century groups, they want these because they are so uh, odd and unusual and large, frankly. They're just giant, life-size ceramic cats. And these go for about 50 bucks plus shipping on eBay, 40 to 50 plus each. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell them in my booth for $100 for the pair. I would own it to ship them, just get them in, get them out. Someone will pay that because that's what they go for online and you don't have to ship. So let's look at everything. Total, I spent $25 for everything, all that $25. When it's all said and done through eBay, through Facebook Marketplace, I'm going to get $326 off of 25, $300 profit. So that's not bad. I mean, that's this is uh, slow and steady wins the race. You buy the small stuff, you buy the big stuff. And uh, how do you do it? Well, continue watching my show, Mid Mod Money. That's a no-brainer. And uh, another thing, always round up.